Hi everyone, Luke here, aka Stone Mosaic, and I'm here with another comic book review. This time of The Complete John Sable, Volume 1, uh, written and illustrated by Mike Grell. You can see the quality of art there. Uh, John Sable is a creator owned character that uh, Mike Grell created um, in the 80s, I believe. There are six of these um, trades from IDW, I believe. And the, these are printed by First Comics and then a couple of companies around here and there. I'm a little sketchy on, on the, uh, the details, but this first trade um, deals with John Sable and how he became to be this um, this mercenary. It goes into his, his origin story about how he had a wife and kids and how they um, ended up being killed by these... Um, this um, sort of a terrorist group in um, Africa, um, and it's not really a spoiler because that because that's sort of dealt with um, as his actual origin. So you're not really uh, I'm not really spoiling anything um, on that front, but it basically goes into um, the fact that he is there, you know, you know, trying to trying to do good. That he's um, a part of a, part of a um, anti-terrorist sort of like patrol. Anyway, um, he's betrayed by by this one guy, um, and um, they basically go and kill him and his family, or kill his his family when he when, when he's in there, and um, he systematically he systematically goes after them, seeking vengeance, which he which he gets. Um, and you know, um, so that takes a good. Three or four out of the six issues, um, uh, and then the rest of the story is sort of him, um, his sort of cover. He's sort of the anti-Batman that he's not, um, in that people know his identity, and yet he hides his um, identity by posing as a children's author, so people don't see him as John Sable the mercenary and you know kill him out like a book signing. Because that's sort of his his job, and that's kind of a kind of a kind of an a, um, interesting little twist that he's a children's author by day and a, I, um, a freelance mercenary by night. But some really great art in this book, um, which I could show it to you. But I'm trying to keep this camera steady, and I haven't uh, got the right tripod just yet. Um, but it's some, some really good stuff. I got this from my local library. Definitely get a, give it a four out of five stars. It's a little slow, kind of in the middle with it, him, his wife, his kids, but it eventually picks back up. Um, good stuff overall. Um, definitely looking forward to the next volume. And also looking forward to seeing Mike Grell um, at the Tampa Bay Comic Con, which should be uh, should be pretty fun. It's going to be, um, I believe, it next weekend. Not this weekend coming up. Um, that should be fun. And then, so yeah. Four to five stars for the for John Sable Volume One. Um, now I'd like to give a brief preview of my next book that I'm going to be reviewing: Batman Dark Detective by Steve Englehart and Marshall Rogers. And this is supposedly um, um, I forget exactly the name of the original the original uh, run that Englehart and Rogers did. Uh, for Batman, but that was collected in a trade, and this is sort of the follow-up Dark Detective. But I seem to recall um, seeing somewhere that there wasn't really any sort of any reason to read one over the other, that they're fairly standalone Batman stories. I mean, I'm not totally sure. I can't even recall where I, where I saw that, but, but I'll read it anyway and see if it makes sense. I'll let you guys know. It really matters if you read um, the first trade or the, or the other. I think the first trade is long, but not a print this one. Uh, looks a little old, has the old DC logo on it, so uh, who knows if that one's still in print either, but um, you know, seems like see, there seems to be a lot of Batman uh, reviews, and I apologize if you're watching this and you keep hoping that I review more of some other character or some other genre, but that just is what my library has, and I have a lot of Batman to get caught up on. Um, but anyway, so that's... Um, John Sable Freelance, next time Batman Dark Detective. Hopefully I'll get uh, that review out sometime next week, if not this weekend. I also have a, a James Bond comic strip trade that I think I mentioned 
couple of videos back. I'm going to do that and then try and get through. Well, not get through, but read uh, the two Green Arrow trades I have from Mike Grell before I go see him and um, Andrew Robinson and uh, Mark Wolfman, Jim Stranko, all those guys. Um, all those guys at the uh, Tampa Bay Comic Con uh, two weekends from now. So uh, that should be, uh, should be a fun time. So anyway, definitely check out uh, John Sable. Um, but in the meantime, uh, that's all I got. So happy reading.